All right, so today we're gonna do a couple of things to try to uh, readdress the motor on this uh, grinder. First, we are going to take off the back. Now here I'm using a three millimeter uh, screwdriver. So we'll take off the wall bolts on the back. Um, we'll take off the back. Now if you have one of these new backs, they're actually pretty heavy. So make sure to Hold on to it pretty well. This part pulls off, and this is the motor assembly, and this is the part that's actually attached to uh, the front of the grinder. There's five bolts one, two, three, and then there's two more on the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo all, all five, doesn't matter the order. So uh, the idea here is that this part is the part that attaches the motor to a shaft, to the shaft. So uh, we want to uh, inspect it, see what it looks like. And try to retighten these and see if we can reduce any uh, sort of potential vibration here. So the other side looks identical. And even though this part is uh, pretty heavy, uh, it's pretty well supported, so it's not gonna uh, fall off. But I'm still gonna hold it while I do, while I undo the last screw. Right, so this guy is almost out. There we go. So this guy comes off like this. So. First thing I'm going to inspect is I'm going to take a look at the shaft. I'm going to make sure the shaft's nice and clean. I'm going to make sure that this key here is actually uh, installed in all, all the way. Uh, then I'm going to take a look at uh, this part of the grinder. Just double check it, make sure everything looks right. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add a little bit of grease on the inside of the shaft. We use just a popsicle stick with some grease, and this is um, uh, this is super lube, but uh, any uh, food safe grease can be used here. So then we're gonna go ahead and add the motor again. Make sure that the key on the motor engages with the corresponding part of the shaft. There we go. And that's what we're looking for here. So now we're going to add the screws again, starting with the top one, and we're not going to tighten them all the way. So we're only lightly going to tighten them. Uh, they may resist, so we're just going to push. Uh, we're just going to push the motor pretty well. There we go. So again, not all the way. So this part technically is designed to work with uh, three screws. We have uh, five in there. Uh, just just uh, for safety, but uh, technically this part works pretty well with just three screws. So we're gonna lightly tighten. We're gonna lightly tighten this one. And then we're gonna lightly tighten the one on the bottom. We're gonna try to tighten them all to the same, about the same torque, even though we're not using a torque screwdriver here. Let's see what these. And this guy as well. Yeah, this looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and add the cover, make sure there are no cables in the way. There we go, now the back part of the grinder goes in. Bam. And I'm 
we don't have to tighten this too much otherwise they're gonna really pull on the holes simply so just hand tight is fine and that is that